Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Understanding Quadrilaterals We will start with polygons. The type of polygons and their properties. Then we shall discuss kinds of quadrilaterals and finally we will move to parallelograms. To understand curves, let us take a point A on our paper or the board and move the pencil aimlessly without lifting the tip. and mark the point where we end as B. Again let us take another A. I can mark B. A and we are ending here so it can be B. Let us take another figure. If this is A then it ends here so again it is B we can also draw something like simple line this is B all these figures are called curves and hence we define curve as a plane figure formed by joining a number of points without lifting a pencil from the paper and without retracing any portion of the drawing other than the single point. What does that mean? Other than the single point means that sometimes we start from A and we come back to A but name it as B. In such cases, we are reaching the same single point or we are retracing that point. That is why we are saying other than single point. Hence, by definition, all these figures are curves. The same definition of the curve can be understood in a different approach. According to the definition, a plane figure formed by joining number of points without lifting a pencil from the paper and without re retracing any portion of the drawing other than the single point is called a curve. That means we are imagining that there are a number of points on the plane and if we can join these points without lifting our pencil the figure so formed will be a curve for instance without lifting the pencil we can join these points so this will be a curve but consider this set of points let us try to join them without lifting the pencil we start from some point and we join them. Now can I join the second circle without lifting the pencil? No, it's not possible. I will have to pick up my pencil and then join. That means the second figure is not a curve. Basically, it has two curves, one small circle and one big circle. Also we can see that in the first figure we are re retracing just one point while in the second figure we are re retracing two points, firstly this one and secondly 
this one since we started from here so according to the definition the curve can only trace single point so this figure is a curve but this figure is not a curve to understand open curve let us draw some curves let us take a point a and without lifting the pencil let us draw a curve let us draw another one let us draw another one in all these curves it is visible that none of the curve cuts itself even in a single point so they are called open curves and hence we define open curve as a curve which does not cut itself is called an open curve now let us try to understand closed curve let us draw some curves take a point a and from a without lifting the pencil say we draw a circle then ending point is b let us draw another figure let us take a again ending point is b in both these curves the curve cuts itself at its starting point so we can say that it is a closed curve and hence the definition says that a curve which cuts itself is called a closed curve to understand simple closed curve let us draw some closed curves clearly all these figures are closed curves now we define simple closed curve as a closed curve is called simple closed curve if it does not pass through one point more than once then let us see whether our first curve is a simple closed curve or not we started from point a and started drawing or joining the points and we can see that we passed through this point of intersection two times firstly while moving from a downwards and while moving upwards so it is passing through one point more than once that means this is not simple closed curve let us check for the second figure we started from a do like this here again we are passing through this point two times so it is not a simple closed curve let us see the third figure we started from a joined all the points and reached a again named it b but we are not passing through any point on this figure again so this is a simple closed curve similarly this circle 
is also a simple closed curve. In other words, we can say that if our curve intersects at somewhere else except the first point, then it is not a simple closed curve. Here also it is intersecting at some other point. So it is not a simple closed curve. So now we are in a position to define polygons. A simple closed curve made up of only line segments is called a polygon. That would mean a rectangle, a triangle, a square, are all curves that are polygons. But a circle is not a polygon as although it is a simple closed curve but it is not formed of line segments. Consider a curve like this. This will not be a polygon because this is not a simple curve. It is closed but it is not simple closed curve because it is intersecting at some other point. Similarly, this figure is not a polygon because although it is a closed curve but it is not a simple curve, it is passing through two points twice and hence it is not a polygon. Also, a curve like this is not a polygon because this is not a closed curve. 